the Home Depot. Let's check out the plants they have in store for us. For $18.98 at Home Depot in a 10 inch pot in a hanging basket, you can get some strawberries. They're already fruiting. Look at that. That is so cool. For $7.98, you get osteospermum in yellow, purple. I love when they use the galvanized stock tanks to grow so, some plants in so you can see what it looks like as well as the barrels, whiskey barrels. For $39.98 you can get a citrus tree and Usually it can fruit within that year or the following year. 
Meyer lemon. This one is a dwarf Algerian Fremont Mandarin. Semi dwarf Midnight Valencia. Oro Blanco Dwarf Grapefruit. Eureka Lemon. Dwarf Grapefruit Cocktail. Ooh, that looks and sounds so good. Dwarf Blood Orange Moro. Looks really good. Washington Dwarf Naval Orange. Kara Kara Orange, which is kind of pinkish on this in the center. Washington Orange. These navel oranges are so sweet. Those are a good choice in fruits. This is new. Indian Sweet Lime. That looks pretty good. Indian sweet lime. The thorns are pretty gnarly. See that? It's kind of like my my succulent, my cactus. That the thorns are like needles. Busy making fruits. Mineola Tangelo. So these are the mature trees, $109 for apricots. $119 for any of the five gallon citrus. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Meyer lemon. So all these are the mature trees.
Hi everyone, the forecast has been really iffy. It said last week that it would rain one day and it never did. It barely even sprinkled if at all. And then now it's saying it's going to rain tomorrow, but it gets sunny and then it may not rain. Sorry about all the noise. All of a sudden a neighbor wants to mow the lawn. But at Home Depot, let me share with you my haul. I have here a string of pearls and I've had it before but it kind of got too long and dried out and um, ultimately it ended up dying which really made me sad. I do have a string of bananas but I'm so glad to have them because I love how they look and at the store I also saw a string of teardrops which it's got it's round like this and it's got a pointy end. But I like the string of pearls so much I decided to get this one. And look at how cute. There are little baby ones to big ones and they have this little wedge right there that allows the sunlight to go in. Kind of like the Haworthias. And at Home Depot I saw these for sale. $12.98 each. Mr. Honeyberry. So my husband was paying attention because I wasn't. So he saw that it said Mr. Honeyberry and then it said male. And so he's like, there must be a, a Mrs. or whatnot. Like it has to have a male and a female. So then he looked it up and sure enough, you do need, because they don't pollinate within each other, they need a male and a female to cross pollinate to have fruit. So we found a female. There were a bunch of males. Um, also known as Lana Sarah Hascap. So it says, plant me with honey, Mr. Honeyberry for best pollination. Plant me with Mrs. Honeyberry for best pollination. And it's described as a extremely winter hardy plant, produces large fruit, very thin skin and zesty berries melt in your mouth. Can be eaten fresh off the bush or used frozen in your favorite blueberry recipe. Higher level of antioxidants than blueberries. Zone two for this one, zone two for that one. Can grow um, to 1.8 meters, three to six feet tall. And they're gonna, they're both going to be having fruit. Harvest time is in June and July. And then I have this other one that we got, $12.98 Blueberry High Yielding Duke, um, Large Sweet Berries, Homegrown Goodness, Harvest Time is July-August, and I saw several varieties of blueberries, but nothing to my liking. There, there was another one that also was harvest time was around um, the same time and there were some varieties but it didn't say that they were going to be large and sweet and what to know about blueberries is it's nice to have a early bearing mid bearing and late bearing during the season but I just decided to just get one as much um, so I can handle what I've got currently so and then um, for this blueberry plant, I tried to grow them in the ground and it's hard to control the soil because blueberries, I believe, like acidic soil. So uh, I think I'm gonna start to grow them in pots. So I got this um, 16 inch pot that's clay with the nice drainage there. And it was only $13.99. So I might go and get more, but great deal right there. 